20 after 7 and Chris is already at work. Yep. Back <laughs> at it. And he's going to put in a short day today so that we can go and see Vicksburg. Yeah. And breakfast is the leftover ground turkey and broccoli. While Chris works this morning, I'm just going to take care of a couple of things because I know that we're going to be packing our lunch today. We're trying to get out of here a little bit earlier to go to uh, see the battlefield because it is hot. So that means that we'll be taking our lunch with us. So I was trying to think of something that I could make this morning that would go with our lunch well today and also tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be another travel day. So I wanted something that I could have that I would make leftovers with. So I'm making that potato salad. The other thing is... Um, for dinner tonight. I kind of wanted something that's not going to be too hot later and that I could maybe do in the crock pot. So this is a really super simple recipe um, for salsa verde chicken. So all I have boneless skinless chicken breast. I threw them, rinsed them, threw them in my crock pot. Now next up I'm just going to put in some salsa verde. This is a smaller jar. I only have the two chicken breasts in there, so I think it'll be fine. Usually I have a, a bigger jar, but that's okay. And the other thing I'm going to do is put in, I chopped about half of an onion. Again, because I only have the two chicken breasts, so that's a little bit smaller. You could make it bigger, just to add more ingredients. There is no real rhyme or reason to a lot uh, of what I do in the kitchen. I generally am not the type of person who follows recipes strictly and that is why I do not bake like ever. But this is another thing I get from my mother and that is just kind of winging it. Because you know what, once you know flavors and you get somewhat decent at cooking and you start to see what happens to things, it just gets, you know, you can do it. It's not that big of a deal, so work with what you got. So that's it, and so I'm gonna put this on low for the day and it will be done and ready to shred when we get back. And I'm just publishing my post that I finished last night. All right, that is up and running, and let me go over. It's on the Bighorn Mountains in the Medicine Wheel. So all looks good there. potatoes have finally cooled enough so I'm just gonna make a real simple potato salad uh, since I'm kind of doing this quickly so I just have my potatoes some of which I like to mash you can see over here just because I like the consistency that that gives to the potato salad later and then some onion that I uh, chopped up fine and some celery and I have this dressing that I made last night that was like a creamy Dijon mustardy uh, dressing for the salad and so I'm going to use that on here and then also probably end up adding a little bit more mayo to it. But that's going to be pretty much it for the potato salad. Here you can see what the potato salad looks like. I ended up adding a little bit of olive oil to it as well and some salt, pepper, and onion powder. Okay, Chris is typing our destination into the phone and we're getting ready to head out. It is very, very hot. Hot. Very hot. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how people did this before air conditioning. <laughs> how did they settle this out? I do not know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so here we go. Okay, so, ooh. well, we just toured the visitor center, which was really, really cool. And I did not realize how close they were that the battle here uh, the siege of Vicksburg ended uh, July 4th 1863 which is the the battle of Gettysburg was right in those days July 1st through July 3rd so they were really kind of going on at the same time and that is really fascinating to me I mean we spent so much time we grew up near Gettysburg we've spent so much time there um, and so it's really interesting to be on the southern side, be down here in the deep south, and, and learn about a battle that was, you know, going on here as well, and, and being able to come to this place. I mean, it just, it just does not see, the Civil War just does not cease to amaze me. 
We also got some gifts for our nieces and nephews. Always fun. Should we show? Yeah, you should show. Annie's going to watch this. Anyway, I know like, they're going to see it, but that's okay. They can see it. We got a fun quill. How cool is this? With a little ink holder, and then you get a little packet. And you fry powder in there. You mix it with some liquid yeah. and right in there. Right, how okay. cool is that? So they're going to get to actually use a quill and see what that was like. So I thought that was really cool. I haven't seen that in other places. So that's awesome. And Chris got a sticker. Gotta get the sticker. <laughs> so we're just going to eat lunch in the car before doing the drive tour here of the uh, battlefield. Okay, so I packed us some, uh, this is actually turkey steak. It's kind of like ham steak, only it's made with turkey, but it's really yummy. I got it in Nebraska at... Nutter's Natural Food Market. Nutter's, that's right. <laughs> the Love potato that. salad that you saw me make. And these are uh, blondies that are made with like, uh, they're grain free. They're made with chickpeas actually. So you can Google that, chickpea blondies. chickpea blondies and you can get a grain free version. And they're actually pretty good, we like them. I also have some applesauce and I brought a bunch of water and some walnuts and I made us a chia drink with, just with, um, to flavor it this time I put in uh, elderberry syrup because it's yummy, nice. it's, it's a little bit, adds a little other. sweetness and it also has a lot of vitamin C. So that's what we're looking at. After touring the hallowed ground at the battlefield, we went downtown in Pittsburgh to visit the old courthouse, which was standing at the time of the Civil War. Today, the old courthouse serves as a museum. It houses exhibits on the history of Vicksburg, the siege of Vicksburg, the life of Jefferson Davis, the Mississippi River, and much more. We just finished up at the old courthouse museum. And now we're just gonna do just a driving tour around Pittsburgh to see some of the uh, historic areas and buildings. put dinner in the crock pot because even with the air conditioner running all day today it's still 82 degrees in here so that's pretty warm. Hey it is now 6 16 and we're getting ready to eat that salsa verde chicken with lettuce, some um, tortilla chips, cilantro on mine, cheese on Chris's, and refried beans and avocado. Yum! Okay everyone, it's a little bit after 9 and I am tired. This heat is for real. It is no joke. So I pretty much wore myself out today. And I think Chris is pretty tired too, but he is still actually working this evening. 
running out of gas. Yeah. A little bit longer. But I just want you to hear what it sounds like along the Mississippi River at night. Oh, it's locked. Good night.